Back to Living 808. In 2017, the Rainbow Hindu volleyball team finished with a 20 and 8 record, finished second in the Big West, and competed in their 36th NCAA tournament. Hawaii returns 11 letter winners, including four starters from this, uh, for this upcoming season, including all Big West first team players McKenna Granado and Noreen Iosia. And the 2018 Rainbow Wahine volleyball schedule was recently released, and no better person to talk about it than head coach Robin Amos Santos. She's joined by former player and director of operations Evan Lee. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Okay, glad, something you're glad that went away a fashion trend. For me, it's ash was, ash, acid wash jeans. Uh, with the high belt, with the double, the kind. Jelly shoes. <laughs> yeah. Tipped hair. Ooh. You know. uh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, let's get to business. Uh, the 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 season, um, the 2018 season schedule was released, and you guys open up with a couple of big ones, including UCLA. But you start off with uh, with Gonzaga, also in the Rainbow Wahine Classic, the Hawaiian Airlines Rainbow Wahine Classic, Kansas State. Yeah. Um, tell me about the what you think about the schedule. I mean, it was kind of difficult. Like me and Evan worked on it. Um, just going back and forth, trying to find teams with a good RPI, mm -hmm. um, but also, you know, finding teams that the fans would, you know, lo love seeing over here. Um, like you said, there's UCLA, Gonzaga. Gonzaga has a local kid um, coming back as mm -hmm. well, and K State as well. K State, K State mm -hmm. has another um, uh, Riley, I think. Yeah, another local kid. So there's a lot of local kids coming back um, to the states and yeah. to Hawaii and. That's what we try to do, is try to hit up teams with, you know, higher RPIs, teams that uh, the fans love to see, and also trying to bring some of our local girls back. And this full schedule is going to be available on our website. You can check it out, see what games you got to go to, but you can also buy tickets because they're available right now. Season tickets, yes? Season tickets are available. Uh, come join the fun, family affair, you know, bring your kids, bring the family. It's a... You know, yeah, there you go. You got me yelling up <laughs> there. So, ever since I can remember, it's it's a rocking place to go to. It's always a fun. It's always a fun time. Uh, the fans just seem to love it. Tell tell me and some of the fans that are watching now, who are some of the players to, to watch? For uh, like you said, there's uh, coming back, McKenna Granado. That's one of our outside hitters. You mm -hmm. know, all around player. We got Noreen Ilcia, our setter. You know, and she's she's getting better each year. Uh, we also have a couple uh, new ones that came in transfers. Mm -hmm. uh, Tita, and we have she's a libero. We also have Angel. She's coming in from Maryland, on the right side, and an another one, Sarah Leva, mm -hmm. that's new to the team. So those are the three, you know, coming in. We also have two freshmen coming in. Uh, Kama is from Hawaii, and also Trinity. From the mainland. Always opportunities to get better, I'm sure. Yes. yes. Finishing second, you want to be able to finish first. We want the first. Whole thing. This All right. Year. But, um, uh, and you're also trying to uh, raise some younger volleyball players with camps. And it's always fun to see the camps, the kids come out. Um, you're doing camps. There's four sessions this summer. Tell me about the camps. So, camps are in the afternoon, all skills camps, mm -hmm. um, starting in June, and then uh, July has the rest of them. We also have skill specific camps. Yeah, like Libero. Yeah, center. Libero. So, if you want to find tune certain parts of your game you're gonna come to that one but I mean we've got ages uh, from grades 4 to 12 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. available for all campers so we want them to come out we want the game to grow in Hawaii for sure all skill levels how do you how do you separate those that have different skills oh well our, higher, higher level lower yeah. level how do you, how do you I mean it's up them? to the kids and then we kind of split them up according to how their skill level is what they can do what their volleyball IQ mm -hmm. um, but we, we want them to come and have a good time. We want them to come out and learn something from us. So grow the game, start young, stay with us. You know, hopefully it creates opportunities for them down the road. I believe if they have a good experience, mm -hmm. at the first time, if there's their first timers coming out, we, we ha let them have fun, but teach them as well. But they have to have a good experience in order to yeah. want to come back. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, and maybe future Wahine volleyball players? Maybe. That would well, be awesome. But it's boys and girls, too, yes? Yes. yes. Okay, so maybe some future uh, Rainbow Warriors, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're helping um, Charlie out, for sure. The, the dates for the camp, I'm going to go ahead and read them off. Mm -hmm. The first one, tickets are still, I mean, they're still Species. openings, yes? Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, so it's grades 4 through 12. It's the 30th, uh, 38th annual Rainbow Wahine volleyball camp, June 11th through the 12th. And then you've got one from July 9th through the 12th, July 13th through the 16th, then the 17th through the 20th. And the cost is $200, but I believe... Um, 
I believe that this is priceless for those that want to learn because I've seen it over the years. Uh, I've you know, been to those, covered them as a sportscaster, and saw what it produces for these kids. Again, the first one is June 11th through the 14th, so don't wait. Get your tickets. Yes. Yep. You guys stick around a little bit? Maybe teach me a little something you guys will be teaching the camp? Robin will. I'll we hit balls to you. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll stick around for that. We know how that might go. All right. Coming up, don't miss Chef Sam Choi and I on this Sunday's episode of Sam Choi's in the Kitchen. We've got